Hello and welcome to a video where I'll be going all the different things that Diablo 2 expansion added to the game versus the classic game. Um, a lot of people, especially a very prominent streamer called Comparian, uh, prefers to only play the classic game of Diablo 2. That means they haven't installed the uh, expansion pack, but they, I believe they still play at the max patch. I don't uh, think that's any different, but they don't play without the expansion pack. Um, now, the expansion pack was added like a year, I think, after the initial launch, maybe two years, so it was kind of fast they released this expansion pack. For me personally, I really only enjoy playing with the expansion. I never really considered playing the classic, but um, the overall biggest difference for me is having no Act 5. So I will just quickly go. So so you miss Act Five. Uh, what is Act Five? Well, you miss out on Pindle skill runs. You don't get to have the uh, gambler here, the personalized quest. Um, you lose the whole cool Anya quest. You know you don't get your resist scroll. Um, so the resist uh, scroll quest up here at Mala, you don't get that either. And then of course you don't either get the uh, socket quest, so you can't get Lazarus to socket your items. That is definitely a huge bummer as well that classic games don't have. Um, yeah, also just Act 5 is pretty damn cool, you know, you get your bail runs, you get your... I always like the ancient quest, even it's a bit annoying to do when you're leveling new characters. Now... Um, Another thing that I also want to mention is that there are no unique, super unique items. So I believe that stuff like sandstorm tracks or I don't know, Griffin's Eye or something like that, that does not exist in the game at all. Um, let's see what else. Yeah, so there's also no set items. That means tall rushes or triangles or whatever. Those items are also gone. And I uh, gotta check here, but I have a little list here, but <coughs> um, I believe there's also no room words at all. Uh, no crafting, so they do say no crafting on this nice little list. Um, I believe that you can't make any room words at all then. At least it's quite limited. Um, I do uh, think there maybe are some runes dropping in the game. I can't quite remember that, but I'm pretty sure that you're not gonna be able to make all the really overpowered rune weapons that were added later in the game once the expansion was launched with patches. Uh, what else can you say from the... Yeah, so... <coughs> <coughs> oh, sorry. So obviously a uh, Diablo clone doesn't exist. So that's kinda a bummer. I always like the Diablo clone. Mercenaries cannot be resurrected. Yeah. Um, follow between X received items. To this is kind of a bummer as well. Um, summon creatures. <coughs> <coughs> oh, I'm very sorry. Got a bit of a cold going on. <laughs> sorry about that. Summon creatures like Nurkomans to revive monsters disappear between acts. That is a fucking soggy thing. So if you are jumping acts with a Nurkomans, all your summons are completely gone. No player X commands. This is really bad for the single player game. If you want to push something, the single player game can't do that. Really don't like the having not that command. And obviously the 800 by 6 resolution is really shitty to not have as well. <laughs> uh, let's see what else. Blocking does not depend on dexterity. That is kind of a cool thing. I wonder if you could ever even get max block in Diablo 2 uh, Classic then? I guess you couldn't. Um, do -do -do. Let's see what else. Javelin throwing awarded character. Okay, this is kind of a fun one. You don't get your title. Ha, <laughs> that's kind of a cool one. Uh, let's see. What was that? By Blessed Hammer. Oh, this one's fun. Blessed Hammer receives a full percent enhanced damage for concentration instead of the 50% in expansion. Blessed Hammer is totally overpowered then. 
a 50% <coughs> extra uh, enhanced damage. That's kind of amazing. <coughs> um, resistance. That is kind of a good thing. Only minus 50 and minus 20 in Nightmare. This definitely nerfs the game a lot. I like this uh, change because it definitely makes uh, it a bit easier to cap resistance. Uh, let's see what else. Yeah, they do say no runes and thus no rune words. So all rune words. Um, I actually kind of like that. If you feel like rune words uh, made the game too overpowered, you could um, kind of, you know, enjoy the game game style without the rune words. There will still be good items to get. Just no rune words at all. That's kind of a cool thing, I guess, if people don't like the uh, power creep. Ah, uh, let's see what else. S no class specific items. Oh, that sucks. Uh, no keys, obviously. No charms, including unique ones. Uh, some uh, new ones that stuff like geats and whatnot. Ah, uh, let's see what else. No elite items. No ethereal items. <laughs> oh my God. No ethereal items. Well, sure. No room words. Now this one's a huge, as I mentioned before, no exceptional or lead uniques and thus only the following amulets and rings are spawnable. Nagel ring, yeah, I use this one quite a bit, it's kinda good. Stone of Jordan obviously existed. No good sun relic, the eye, Italy, a mammy, ochre, these sucks, totally low bullshit ones. Uh, da -da -da -da, let's see what else. Yeah, so this is kinda fun. No sets with the leader exceptional items first, only the following can be found. <laughs> so stuff like Eisenhardt or Kligars or Arcanus tricks. This is just like the best stuff that you could find. I actually kinda like that. I mean, okay, so you can get good items, but that means you're just gonna be finding rare items instead with items, uh, stats on them. So say you get like a rare chest with 500 defense on it, that would be a really good drop. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So cube recipes. There's a lot of cube recipes here. Obviously, they can't be existed either. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Um, what else could I say? Yeah. Um, now, in general, I really do uh, believe that if you don't like power creep and you kinda just want to keep it you know simple and you don't want to be too overpowered in the game classic might be for you it could be fun to do it just to uh, kinda you know play self found and do a playthrough where you only uh, you know use really uh, standard items that are not overpowered at all cause even the uh, Tarasha uniques and whatnot in this game is kinda good um, yeah, it could be fun for just that sort of gameplay, but I don't think I would enjoy it too much. I do like the power creep just a little bit. <laughs> but um, yeah, I hope you found it useful. I'll have the link in the description below. So yeah, goodbye.